Hi, and today you can be watching me replace my cassette. So firstly, I'm going to give the bike a good wash, giving extra attention to these small little gears on the rear derailleur and the chainring in front. The next thing to do is to remove the wheel. To remove the cassette, you're going to need some specific tools. I have a socket wrench, a chain whip tool, and a socket for the lock nut on the cassette. The socket wrench should be set to loosen, so to make it easier we'll say lefty loosey. The chain whip must be set up to push down with the left hand while you'll be pushing down with your right hand on the socket wrench. Once the nut is loose, it should take no effort to unscrew it further by hand. This XT cassette is not one complete unit. Most of the smaller gears come off separately with some spacers in between. Because I'm fitting a new cassette, which is still squeaky clean, I might as well clean everything around the hub by using a cleaning solvent and by applying some fresh grease. I am undoing the non-drive inside of the hub as well to get the whole story cleaned up nicely. After cleaning the non-drive inside, I apply a little grease, fit the disc brake rotor and tighten everything down. You're supposed to have a torque wrench for this, but I'm guessing most of you watching also doesn't have one. So don't trust me when I just thumb suck the torque setting by feel. I'm replacing my Shimano XT cassette with an SLX one. The SLX is a couple of bucks cheaper than the XT one, and I don't think they're that much different when it comes to quality and performance. So I'm applying some general purpose grease on the hub section where the cassette will go. I'm sure there's a specific type of grease that needs to be applied here, but I'm going with the motto of any grease is better than no grease. The new cassette should just slide onto the hub. There is no wrong way to do this because there are slots in strategic places to prevent any incorrect mounting of the gears. Unless you force it, then that's on you. Before screwing the nut on, I'm removing some of the last few gears to get easier access to the hub section, so I can apply some grease here as well. Now to screw on the nut and torque it down, but in my case, tighten until you think it's at the correct torque. You'll also notice that the chain whip tool is not required for tightening the lock nut, but righty tighty applies. The last thing you need to do is fit the wheel and root the chain. To get the master link to clip in easily, get the link to the top of the drivetrain, pull on the rear brake and push down on the crank as if you would be pedaling forward. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now all that's left is to go and test it, so I'm going to loop the chain and go out for a ride. So if you're hearing that grinding noise, it's obvious that my drivetrain issue is not yet sorted. My chainring has also reached the end of its life, and I'll be ordering a new one to replace this as well. So 
so there you go that was me replacing my cassette if I have to be totally honest without doing any adjustments the shifting feels a lot more on point so if your shifting is a little sluggish then that might be a sign that your cassette might be a little worn out already if I have to do a lot of upgrades on my drivetrain then I was thinking of going 12 speed anyway so if you have any cool ratios that I should be looking at uh, let me know down in the comments and uh, I'll be sure to go give it a gander unfortunately with that that is the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you did and uh, go and subscribe see you in the next one